Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to see you. Um, make sure that you have full name. It says right there, Claudia Cruz. Uh, please make sure that you, have, that you have two names and two last names. Uh, para que le valide asistencia acá la, la plataforma de Zoom, right? So, let's start. Let's see, we are 18 right now. Todavía faltan algunos que se conecten, pero imagino que ya, que ya, ya, ya vienen, okay? So, it's, um, it's, like not the last day, right? Because we do have class tomorrow. So, no, no vamos a decir que viernes porque este falta mañana. So, uh, Claudia Cruz, I don't know if you can update your, you can update your uh, full name, please. Um, let's see, let's start with the attendance, okay? So, I have people there in the in the group que veo que acaban de enviar. Este bien, al final voy a validar porque no. No sé. Bien, so let's start. Let's see um Christopher. How are you, Christopher? How are you? I, I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, you are fine. So Christopher, what do you do during the date? What? What do you do? What do you do during the date? I don't understand. Um, the question, let me put it right here in the chat. Okay. What do you do uh, during uh, the date? So yo le agrego acá during the date, pero solo haciendo la pregunta. Eh, what do you do? Mm -hmm. That uh, means it's during the ah okay. I'm here a uh, date no day okay. Um, work uh, to eight a.m. and to four p.m. Um, I dinner after no no uh, before the class and okay only, only that. Okay, but what, what do you do exactly in your job, Christopher? What is your um, occupation or what is the activity that you really do? I'm a administrator assistant uh, in the Alcaldía de San Salvador. I <clears throat> look, no, I look the, the shops, uh, the cotizaciones, uh, coordination to the my team and other things. Okay, Chris, very nice. So that means that you work like an, in, in an office, right? In the how do you say alcaldía? How do you say alcaldía in English, Chris? I don't know. I you don't, don't know. Uh huh. Let's see. Someone knows how do we say alcaldía? Benjamin, Edwin Benjamin, how do you say alcaldía? I don't know, teacher. You don't know. Jessica María, how do you say? Le voy a escribir esta pregunta acá en el chat. Mire, cuando usted quiere preguntarle al maestro, sea conmigo o con quien usted esté, mire, profesor, maestro, ¿cómo se dice tal cosa? Right? So, how uh, do you say it? Y ahí pone la palabra, right, lo que sea, en inglés, right? So, ¿cómo se dice tal cosa en inglés? Ok. So, ahí está la pregunta. How do you say la 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 alcaldía en inglés? Uh -huh. En internet eh, sale Town Hill. Town Hill, ok, can be. There are um, different ways to say alcaldía, okay? 
So town health, it's okay. In some books, you will get them the word like a main office, oficina principal, main mm -hmm. office, okay? Also, you will get like um, principal, principal. M male is spelled M uh, A. I uh, know. Uh, male. No, no, it's uh -huh, M A. No, M I E D. No. That is a male. Pero la male office, yes, otra cosa. This one is a main, main office, main. right? Main office, right? Principal, uh, oficina oh, okay. principal, okay? So, okay. Hay, otra, hay otra palabra, quiero ver, se me ha ido. Alguien ha investigado, how do you say alcaldía? Que tienen allí acceso a San Google. Vean, hay otro. Municipal Health. Ajá, pero there is another word que se me ha ido ahorita. Alcaldía, main office, principal office, office health. Ajá, but there is another one. Déjame hacer. ¿Alguien más ahí? Eh, vuelvo ahí a repetir, Claudia Cruz, no sé si me escucha. Claudia, Tom Hall. Ok, that would be Tom Hall. Let's y see. Mayoralty. Ajá, Mayoralty aparece aquí también. Ajá, can be, but there is another word. Tom Hall, City Hall. Ok, City Hall es otro major office. Es que para alcaldía hay muchas, por eso me, me, me estoy mencionando esa palabra, porque hay varias formas de decirlo, ok? So, local authority, mayor office, uh -huh. a city hall, esta es la que yo quería decir, la city hall, alcaldía, uh -huh. esta es a majority, uh, mayor's office, city hall, ok? So, uh -huh. different ways, ok? Different ways. Nice. Okay, so let's see, let's see, now we are 21, ya vamos llegando, vamos llegando casi todos. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Gerardo, what's today day, Gerardo? Uh, today is, today date is Thursday, April. Mm. 13 and 2023 2023 okay 2023 thank you Gerardo yeah today is um Thursday right Thursday Thursday uh April April los meses del año yo creería que usted ya se los puede si alguien no se puede los Meses del año completito, busque ahí una su imagen, algo y ve ahí, estudie eh, los meses de, del año. Ok, so, April. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos. My goodness, hoy se le pegó la cobija. Yes, Wait, sorry, I'm work, I, I was working. Ok, very good, you were working, ok, I was working. Ok, no problem. Uh, let's see, Hilma, Olinda, how are you? Hello, good evening, I am ready for the class. Very good, ready for the class. Uh, let's see, um, Brenda Elizabeth, give me a question. Verb to be question can be any subject, but a, a question, we need a question. Brenda? No, I entendí. Um, one more time, Brenda. Una vez más, no se preocupe. Huh? We need a question, okay? 
with the verb to be. Give me an example. Give me an example. Usted. Question. You can use any subject, okay? Can use any subject, but um, give me the example as a question. Uh, and I student. Uh -huh. Question, question, am I a student? Okay, am I a student? Okay, nice. Uh -huh. Let's see, vamos a ver next. Um, Benjamin, negative, negative example, please. Uh, can you repeat the, the the affirmative sentence, please? Yeah, we need a, a negative, okay? Any subject, any um, example, okay? No el que dio Brenda, otro, pero negative. Mm. I don't know what are you talking about? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Benjamin, okay, one more time. So one more time, Benjamin, please give me an example, okay? Give me a sentence, negative sentence with the verb to be. Le estamos pidiendo un ejemplo, negative uh, uh, verb to be. I'm not... Uh, Whatever, I'm not an English, no, I'm not a math student. Okay, I'm not a math, uh, I'm not a um, math student. Okay, okay, very good, Benjamin, okay. Uh, let's see, Gabriel, no le hemos preguntado a Gabriel Isaac. Now the positive one, the positive example, any subject, any sentence the positive yeah in verb to be this is mm -hmm. my t-shirt uh -huh, but uh -huh, but this is my uh, teacher means or t-shirt shirt shirt sorry okay this is my shirt okay very nice solo que ella me está metiendo usted el this right no digo yes. que está mal yes. pero es okay okay very nice very nice um gabriel Let's see, uh, I need to pass the attendance, okay? Déjenme moverme rápidamente acá a la... Oops, esta cuestión se me ha quedado atrapado, mi mouse. Okay, so let me, let me pass the attendance because of the time, right? Like, let's see. Let's see, please uh, let me know if you are here, right? So Brenda Elizabeth. Present. Nice. Uh, Briseida Janet. Present. Nice. Uh, Byron Leonel. No. Uh, Carlos Adolfo. Present, miss. Thank you. Carlos René. Eh, Carolina Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Carolina. Uh, let's see, Cecilia Elizabeth. Eh, Cesar Armando. Eh, Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina, no. Eh, Christopher David. Present teacher. 
Nice, Dalia Banexa. Nice, that también. Present. Nice, Damari Sara E. Present. Nice. Eh, let's see. Um, Eden Nilsson Francisco. No. Eh, Edwin Alexander. No. Edwin Benjamin, ahí está. Present. Nice. Uh, Stefania. Present teacher. Okay, Stefania. Uh, Gabriel Isaac, ahí está. Um, Gerardo Arturo, ahí está también. Gilma Olinda, ahí está. Um, let's see, Gustavo Antonio. Gustavo, Gustavo, ¿no? Eh, Hilda del Carmen. Ahí está Hilda, ya la vi. Um, let's see. Ingrid Astrid. Ingrid Astrid. Present teacher. Ah, ok, nice. Uh, let's see. Jane Lisette. Present. Nice. Eh, Jessica Maria. Present. Nice. Um, Jessica Paola. Then we have Josue Ruben. Josue Ruben. Juan Manuel. Eh, Leticia Margarita. Present. Nice. Okay, so we are going to uh, validate the attendance at the end, right? So let me let me go back right here to the chat. Um, um, let me share the screen really quick. Deje ver a dónde vamos. Acá está. So now you can see the the screen, right? So uh, remember. Let me. Start turn on my camera, my goodness. So remember this part, right? So por aquí nos quedamos, classroom objects, okay? So there are more classroom objects, but uh, since we have a virtual classroom, so we don't really have all these items, right? But the idea right here is the use of these, okay? Le dije que acá el libro nada más de momento, más adelante viene el, el these, el plural, pero Oops, permítame que no sé qué hice aquí por mover una cosa, moví otra. Bien, so le decían, right? So right here we have just the singular, right? This, este es para uno, pero yo le mandé ayer y explicamos medio ayer, empezamos a ver que no es solamente este, right? So we have four options, okay? We have this, this, that and those, right? We mentioned that two of them are for singular themes, and the other two are for plurals, right? Plurals. And that um, we have to know which item or which object it's kind of close to you and which one is like far. Quiere decir que usted aquí tiene que ver si está cerca, lejos, el objeto, cosa, animal, persona, lugar, lo que sea que usted está señalando o hablando de, si está cerca, está lejos, si es uno, Dos, tres, cuatro, cincuenta mil, un millón. Okay? So that's the difference. Now, what else we have right here? Articles. The articles am and a. This is something very simple. Yo creo que hasta tienen un ejercicio en la plataforma de esto, right? So, am. ¿Cuándo yo voy a usar el article am? Cuando la siguiente palabra que continúa es una vowel sound. ¿Qué es una vowel? ¿Quién sabe qué es una vowel? Vocal. Una vocal. ¿Perdón? Una vocal. Ok, that would be a vowel, right? Una vocal, ok. So, una vowel, una vocal. So, yo voy a decir, um, eraser, ok. Um, eraser, porque la siguiente palabra que sigue después del arico, eh, we are going to use 
a vowel, ok? La siguiente palabra que prosigue es una eh, vocal, ok? Es una vocal. Luego el A, que es lo que normal comúnmente yo menciono, voy a usar el article A cuando la siguiente palabra es una consonante. ¿Cuáles son las consonantes? Las que no son vocales. <risa> Todas las letras, right? Todo el abecedario menos las vocales, ok? So yo digo, uh, this is a dictionary, this is a notebook, this is a desk, this is a computer, ok? This is a book. Pero si la siguiente palabra dijimos es una vowel, una vocal, voy a decir am. Um, This is um, umbrella, okay? So let's see if we can answer this. Uh, let's see, uh, Jessica Maria, number one right here, okay? Lea eh, la oración completa con la respuesta, right? This is a book. Okay, very good, this is a book. Uh, number two, that will be for uh, Stefania. Uh, this is um eraser. Okay. Yes. Very nice. This is um eraser, right? This is um eraser. Uh, the next one, Carlos Adolfo, number three, please. This is an English book. Perfect. This is an English book. Okay, this is an English book. Nice, uh, Hilda del Carmen, number four. This is a dictionary, dictionary. Okay, this is a dictionary. Okay, this is a dictionary. The next one, uh, Dalia Vanessa, number five. This is a notebook. This is a notebook, okay, this is a notebook. Very nice. And the last one that will be for uh, Chris. Christopher, go ahead. This is an encyclopedia. Okay, this is an encyclopedia. Okay, very nice. Creo yo que estamos más o menos. Déjenme ver aquí, alguien tiene micrófono abierto. Eh, pero creo que se comprende, right? Article A in M. Usted lo que tiene que ver es la siguiente palabra. Si es una consonante, es el A normal. Si la siguiente palabra inicia con una vocal, yo tengo que decir am, um, ok, am. Um. Nice. So let's continue. Let me go back right here. Let's see. We have a conversation right here that says uh, they are interesting. Ok, that's the name of the conversation. They are interesting and this is a conversation between wendy helen and rex okay this is rex uh wendy and helen right so let's see it says uh whoa what's this pregunta mire what's this it's a camera okay it's a camera oh cool thank you helen it's great uh you're welcome Uh, now, open this box. Okay. Um, what are these? Mira, no es lo mismo. What's this? What are these? Okay. Uh, they are earrings. Okay. They are earrings. Oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. Rex, uh, they are very nice. Do we have new words right here? Habrá aquí alguna palabra que usted diga. No sé qué significa eso. ¿Está clara la conversación? ¿Logra usted captar what is the conversation about? ¿De qué trata la conversación? What do you mean, miss? Donde dice, now open this box. Now open this box, okay? Ahora abre esta caja. So if you see in the picture, they are in a celebration, right? So vea la imagen. Ellos están ahí como en una celebración de, 
de algo, ¿verdad? ¿Y qué están celebrando? El birthday. ¿De quién? De ella. Entonces, ¿qué pasa? Ella está abriendo los regalos, ¿verdad? Entonces hay uno que ella dice, wow, ¿qué es esto? What's this? Ah, it's a camera, ¿ok? Le llevaron de regalo una cámara y está en la imagen, miren, no parece, pero es cámara, right? Y viene ella y dice, oh, cool, thank you, Helen, it's great. Ah, you're welcome. Right now, open this box. El regalo que le lleva Rex. Le dice, mira, hoy abre esta caja. Y la abre y bueno, ella pregunta, what are these? ¿Qué son estas cosas? Pero look at the face, right? Look at the, la cara de ella. Look at her face. Como que no le gustaron, right? So what is this? Le dice, ah, they're earrings. ¿Qué dijimos que era earrings? Ah, eso no lo hemos mencionado. Pendientes. La Ok, aritos. muy bien. Aritos, aretes, así decimos nosotros, right? Los aritos, ok. They are earrings, ok, son aritos. Y viene ella y le dice, oh, they are interesting, right? Como, qué feo, ¿verdad? Pero como le están regalando, o sea, se queda como pensando, están interesantes, right? Gracias, Rex. Ellos están bien. They are very nice, ok. Pero, pues, no le gustó, right? Porque se queda como, híjole, está raro esto, right? But that's the, that's the meaning, okay? So, uh, let's see. Let's practice. Uh, let's see. ¿Quién no le hemos preguntado este día? Eh, Claudia Cruz, no sé si escucho, veo que ha activado cámara ahí. Si no colocan el nombre completo, este, no, les, no les carga el... El attendance ahí, Claudia Cruz. Eh, no sé si me escucha, no respondió la asistencia. Este, tiene que completar ahí el nombre. Bien, so Gabriel be Rex, ok. Gabriel Isaac, please uh, be Rex. Eh, vamos a ver. Jessica María, be Helen. Um, let's see, Estefanía, be Wendy. Ok, so go ahead. Gabriel, uh, Wendy, I'm sorry, uh, Jessica and Dali. Dalia, you are Wendy, okay? So, usted empieza. Me dijo Estefanía a mí. Yeah, Estefanía and Jessica Maria. Uh -huh. uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Dije Estefanía y Jessica Maria, right? Sorry, Dalia, creo que me, me equivoqué. Dije Estefanía y Jessica Maria. So, Stefania, you are Wendy. Okay, go ahead. It's a camera. Oh, cool. The you, Helen, is great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Oh, okay. Why, why are it fixing? There earrings oh they're interesting that you rex that they're very nice see thank you nice one more time listen to the pronunciation right hay que tratar de Mejorar la pronunciación lo más que podamos, poco a poco, ¿ok? So, wow, what's this? Remember que aquí hay un apóstrofe, right? What's this? Si no hubiera el apóstrofe, ahí sí. What is this? Pero acá está contracted. What's this? It's a camera, ¿ok? Camera. Sí, ahí dice camera, pero yo no voy a leerlo tal cual, ¿verdad? So, it's a camera. It's a camera. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Ya dijimos que no vamos a decir thank you, ¿verdad? Thank you, no. Mire, thank you. Ok. Thank you, Helen. It's great. 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 You're welcome. You're welcome. 
You're welcome. Now, now open this box. Now open this box. Okay. Mm. What are these? What are these? What are these? They are they are earrings. Las S in English por algún motivo. Eh, Eh, no las mencionamos. Yo no sé por qué nos cuesta pronunciar las S cuando van al final de la palabra. Pero hay que pronunciar porque la S indica pluralidad, que son dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, saber cuántos, right? Son plurales. They are earrings. Ok, yo lo exagero, pero para que usted escuche la S, right? So they are earrings. Oh, they are, they are interesting ok mucho cuidado no me vaya a decir interesting verdad interesting no así se escribe pero la pronunciation that will be interesting 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 thank you rex thank you ya dijimos right thank you rex they are very nice they are very nice vamos a ver now, Dalia, yes. Dalia, you will be Wendy. Uh, let's see, Hilda, you are going to be Helen. And Carlos Adolfo, please be Rex. Okay, so go ahead, Dalia, Hilda, and Carlos Adolfo. Wow, that, that, ay, perdón. Yep. Wow, that's, no. What, what is this? It's a camera. It's a camera. It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You are welcome. 